the loud noise and the magic shooting um, the magical stone out of Neverdy's hands. Hi, Neverdy wa madoseki o hirota. Neverdy, he dropped the magical stone. Nope. Or he picked it up. Hi. He hirota. Yep. Ah! What is it? Oh no, it'll happen. You'll see it on the screen eventually. Okay. Push this upwards. Uh, Koi. Veneto o Sagae Sagae Siga Sisagae Sitagae Sitagae Benet he uh something to Benet he he commanded right. Benet Yep Sitagae uh cuts kashin kashin katsong katsong katsu um katsu um uh to tsue no oto o hibikase nagara mo o kuguru wow the While the sound of the king, its echo, katsong, katsu, uh, the gate, uh, they, uh, he, kuguru, the gate. Right. Kuguru means to go through something that has, like, um some kind of top, like a gate. So this gate specifically has some kind of lid over it. So you open that, and there's still some kind of top part. So he went through? Yeah. So went who through. went through the gate? Benet or Nebody? Mm, Benet, uh, Nebody. Nebody. Yeah. Nebody is the one that does the shitagai, uh, the hibikus, and the guguru. So Nebody, he orders Benet, and he makes his king go echo, echo, and goes through the gate. Oremo. Omotai, Omotai, he, he, Omotai, Omotai, um, Kaban o Machi, Mochi, Mochi Agete, Tsute Ita. So omot omotai and omoi are basically the same thing. Omotai it just makes it more like ore wa to kangairu basically. I think that. I think it's heavy. Right. I think the heavy bags uh mochi agete tsuite ita. I hold it. I raise it. It is. Where do you, where were the I bags the were heavy... before he mochi agita them? Was he holding them? Where were the bags before? The bag was on the floor. Hi. So mochi ageru means to pick up. And there's lots of ways to say pick up in Japanese, like hirota, for example. The reason why we can't really use Hirota here is that Hirota, to some extent, insinuates finders keepers. So nobody can Hirota his magical stone because the magical stone belongs to nobody. It's his, and he can like stick it in his pocket. So we can't really use Hirota here because that that would sound a little bit too possessive. Because the main character is specifically holding this for nobody. He's not sticking it anywhere. So he has to hold it and pick it up. 
from the floor. Then he two feet does. Um, he hold it and then he picked it up on the floor and then ite, ite ita meaning he he continue in that action. Not really. You're thinking about the verb to zuke to zuke means to continue. Tuke, not to zuke, is a word you see many times. You do actually know this verb. It just is to follow or to go with. So I also go along with them picking up my bag, leaving our current location. So in other words, I also kuguru through the moon. Hi. Um, Ushiro, the manga, he, he doi. He kui. He kui. Oto o tate te shimaru. The door, the gate, make a low sound when it opens. <laughs> Oh, when it closes. Hi. And where did it close? Behind us. Ushiro de. Uh, chira ni. Sara ni. Tonnel. Sara ni. Tonnel ga Suzuki. Uh, yagatte ue ni mukau nagai kaidan ga mieta. Um, the long stairway is visible when uh, Yagete Ue Ni Makao facing the above. Pause. Yaga. Let's go. Um, First of all, what's our verb? We got mieru. Is there any other verbs in the sentence? We have Suzuki. Yeah, we got Suzuki. These are our two main verbs here, our two real clauses. And we also have mukau, which is a relative clause. So our first sentence is sara ni tanneru ga Suzuki. What does that mean? The tunnel continue further. Yeah. The tunnel continues further. So right when they go through the gate, it's not just, woo, we're out of the tunnel, but it continues further. So in other words, the characters are going to be continuing forward as well, is the con is the is the connotation of this, because they're continuing forward. Their goal is to leave the tunnel. Yagate is a time phrase. Do you know what yagate means? Uh shortly afterward. Yeah, it it can mean that. It basically means like Finally, in this context, it basically means at the end of the tunnel. Um, but it 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 it's it's it, it can be shortly. It it doesn't really have a. It's a time phrase that doesn't actually insinuate time, because it's like an action phrase. It is basically saying like this is our goal. This is why we were continuing to walk. Basically, this is our new thing after a continuous action. So finally or shortly are both great ways to translate it. Um, so shortly they he can see a kaidan. Kaidan is visible suddenly. So I can see a stair after I walked through the tunnel for a while. Now we have some information about these stairs. We know they're nagai, they're long, and we also know which direction the stairs are going in. So right here where he's standing are the stairs going down like this or are they going up what direction are these stairs going in so here it's a ue ni mukau u nagai so it's it's long but it's facing upward yes it faces upward so in other words these stairs lead up that's where they go to so he's not going down deeper underneath the river, but they're probably going to exit out through the river, exit out of the tunnel by going up. So that's what that mukau part is saying. The stairs face up, I mean, face upward, just mean the stairs 
go up to the next level versus going down. All right. Now I'd say nobody got sen seki atama. Ni. Um, sento is how it's pronounced. Sen from sensei, right? And to is how atama is read when it's married, like animal counter. Ito. So sento. Sento ni. Tatte. Kaidan o nobori kiri. Kae re kakata ibara no sikemi o kakiwakete soto ni data. Can you read the final verb for me again? Soko ni. Soto ni da da. So it's not da. You're thinking about da su, which takes su. This ta right here tells us it came from ru, right? So deru. Hi, deru. Hi. Um. So our verb is kakiwakite. Actually, sorry. Our verb is nobori kiri and kaki wakete and deta. Those are our three main verbs of this sentence. Which one do you think we'll start with? So, um, it's no nobi kiri. Yep, nobori kiri. This is noboru plus kiru to cut. What do you think nobori kiri means? Nobori kita. Climb to the very top. Hi. Climb into the stairs. Hi. Um, and who climbed to the top of the stairs? Hi. Um, nobody. And was anybody in front of nobody? He lead the. No, he he's the lead, and he he uh nobody kiri he he at the top of the kaidan. Um, and afterward it's a yare kakata ibara no uh shikemi, so a bush. Of um, roses, ibara. That is a uh, that had withered away. Well, are they okay. are they already withered away? They're gone. There's no more bush there. They in the process. They wither ring away. So in English, you just would say withered uh, bush, right? If we say add the word away, withered away. When we add that word away, that would be kareta. Kareta, that'd be withered away. So to take out out that awayness. We have the kakata. It is some withered plants. So the plant is still there. It's just you know brown and withered. It's not healthy. Right. So theoretically, you could also say withering, but in English and Japanese, that feels like you're watching like a time lapse almost. Is how I put it. Like you're watching it like like. Like in Beauty and the Beast, the flowers like withering right in front of you. That's kind of like the feeling that uh, the word withering gives, right? Oh no, the flower is withering. It's, it just, it's a withered. Yeah, it's in. I guess I don't know how else to explain it. Like yeah. it's a pro it's a process in the process. It's it's right. it's not completed yet. So in English, we just say it's withered. This is my point. The away right. is what is the insinuation of the fully been with. It's gone now because it's been fully withered. Which is interesting that in Japanese, it's the kakata um, that we add to make it not away. But we add away in English. 
Uh, anyway, nobody does something to this bush, this withered bush. What does he do? He kaki wake de. Right. So he pushed and, them aside. Yes. He pushes aside the bush. And what does he do finally? Uh, he uh, emerges outside. He Perfect. Did the... Sotoni. Deta. Sotoni wa at the outside. Yumi no yawai ni yawai ka or yawai hi ka. You man, so, no, you no, it's a fu. Yes, fu you. you, perfect. You know, yawai. You're really yo close. Wai, it's yo yawai. Yo why, yo why ka? Or day or is it or he? Yo why he ga? It's it's a weak, it's a lightly. Uh, wind. It's a light winter. Good or guess. It's a, uh, let's let's pause first. Let's do um. Sotoni. He ga sashteita. What does that mean? Sashteita from sasu. Sasu is he um he, I don't know, mommy. Hi. So when we're talking about the he doing sasu. That's basically when the sunlight does this between different cracks of things normally. Um, that's that like little like that kind of idea because it's a stabbing light thing of light, right? Something from the sun. So when the sun kind of goes through something like a blind or something like that, or if you have astigmatism and you squint at a light bulb, you're going to be seeing the light doing the sasuing type of motion. Um, so that's just what's going on here. It's just a bit of light that is sasuing, that is going through most likely some kind of hole. And the hole it's going through, of course, is the shige, right? It's this bush that was covering the entrance of the tunnel. But when he pushed the, the thing out of the way and steps out, that allows for the he to sasu into the tunnel where the main character, Khan, can now see it, right? So we had the bush in the way, move the bush, and then suddenly there's some sunlight pouring in. I guess pouring is the word we kind of use in English. So we have sunlight pouring in when the sunlight is the outside sunlight. So outside, sun is pouring in. Sunlight is pouring in. Specifically, um, the sunlight is yowai. What does that mean? It's so weak. Hi. And why do you think it's weak? Why Why would the sun be weak right now? This is the light of the fuyu, Hai. the winter. Yep, the winter light. So winter light is a little bit weak. Basically, he's insinuating it's cold. Well, <laughs> yeah? The he, I always thought he mean the, the, the referring to the day. It does mean day. Like that day. It also means sun. But he. Like the word Sunday. Means. Hmm. The sun. Yobi. The sun. Isn't the sun is Taiyo? You can say Tayo for sun. sun. That is correct. But he also means sun. It's, it's kind of like Aruku and he... Sanpo both mean walk, but they mean different kinds of walks, right? A Sanpo is taking a walk that's like a leisurely walk, while Aruku is walking like to somewhere. So, he and Tayo both mean sun. 
Um, and in different contexts, you'll see one versus the other. Hi. Similarly, month and moon is the same word, right? Get to. Tsuki. Sorry. Tsuki. Okay. Tsuki. See, exact same kanji. Pronounced a little bit different. Same word. Um, but yeah. Taiyo is um has yo which is for brightness and tai for fat so taiyo is fat brightness to mean um sun versus he just means sun um i don't know the exact context when you use one or the other um but yeah hi he got Hi. Ben Benetto ga kaidan o nobori kita tokoro de tachi do maru. Do maru is to stop. Hi. Tachi to stand. Come to a standing stop. Yep. When he at the top of the kaidan. Yes, perfect. Nobori kiri. Nobori kita tokoro. Right when he at the top, he come to a stop. Right. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever. Waki o suri nukete. Suri nukete. We just saw this verb, did we not? Um, so suri nukete theoretically we just saw it but not in this book it is nukeru which you know what does nukeru mean nukeru is to um, to pick up something good guess that is hiro hiro it's a pick up, pick up something or Mochi ageru was also to pick up something. And theoretically, tori agaru um, would also be that. It's toru, it's a take. Um, but nukeru does not mean that. We've seen it before with doa o nuketa. We, uh, to go through. To go through, correct. Suri nukeru also means to go through. So specifically, it's like to slip through, like suberi. But it's suri rather than suberi. Um, whose waki are we talking about here? Are we talking about Ore's waki or Benetto's waki? That's a contextual question. Ore wa waki. Waki here referred to the... The, 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 what is the walkie? The lower back? Good guess. The, the back? What is a walkie michi? The, the side. The side street. Oh, side street. So what do you think walkie means if michi means street? Uh, the, the size of the body. So either beneath the arm. Beneath Hi. the arm, I'm guessing. Exactly. So, ore slips through the side of something. Side of what do you think? Benetto. Hi. Benetto. Uh, waki o suri nukete. Slip through the side. And then I so he soto no. Hey. Hey. Good guess. It's a keshiki. Keshiki. The scenery. Keshiki. Oh. Nagameta. Higam. Naga. I forgot what Naga is. Nagameta is money. Nagameru. Hi. 
So nagameru is one of those miruing words. We have um we have mitsumeru. What does that mean? Mitsumeru. To okay, so miru to see. All right. Nagameru is to, to look at. And then to stare. So many of uh, vision related verb that I'm getting yep. confused. Yep. So mitsumeru means to stare at. Nagameru is to gaze at. How would you describe staring and gazing as different? Uh, staring, staring is more of a focus. Yeah. Of the, your visual apparatus, <laughs> gazing is more of a relaxed way of of uh, looking to where you can see a lot uh, panorama. Hi, hi, hi. In uh, this case, the, Nagameru the doesn't wider... have to necessarily be um paramata, but it does tend to be a more unfocused gaze at something versus mitsumeru to stare at. Mitsumeru a lot of times will also be has a light like a judgment, like someone staring at you. So we're like so we'll get that G modified to it. How about Miru and Mieru? How are these different? Miru is the generic kind, uh, verb to mean I something. Kind, and then Mieru is to I mean, see Blank is actually not miru, if you think about it. It's actually I look at. I look at something, miru, look. right? Because miru is it's when you're moving your eyes to look at something. So it if it, it's more purposeful than see in English, miru, which can see, is actually more similar to I see. I see something, something. Nanika mieru. So you could throw a can in there, but it doesn't really change the meaning. I can see, I see. They're kind of the same passiveness of that kind of idea. Hmm. So, but theoretically, miedu is like to be saw, to be sawn. <laughs> I see is hard, but it's the past, past tense. To be saw. Um, and then how about nirama? This was negative. And what that means? Nirama is to glare. Hi, to glare. Perfect. Okay, so that ends our halfway point. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'll see you in five.